The Twin Cities Treasure celebrating 20 years with the ultimate fall festival. Mm, there will be apple cider making, cooking demos, and a chance to watch dogs from all around North America strut their stuff. Our Shane Wells has that story from Minatrista. They're coming in hot. Herd of sheep on the move. We're going to jump right into this. Tim Reese is the farm supervisor at Gale Woods Farm. There's a big event happening this weekend, and sheep herding, live sheep herding, is part of the fun. What are we watching happen right now? A little, uh oh, we got one on the loose. Yeet. Uh, you're watching a border collie do what it has been uh, trained and bred to do, and that's to work sheep. And uh, right now, uh, Pierce, the dog handler, is trying to return this one sheep back to the group that's not in the pen. And sheep like to stay together in a flock, so that sheep wants to stay with that group that's in the pen. Um, and he's trying to use the dog to move it back to the other group of sheep, which is not in that pen. So the dog works with its own um, breeding and with the sheep's instincts to try to uh, do what the handler asks of it. So this is more of a working situation and the trial is actually more of a, a specific course that the dogs have to run the sheep through uh, that involves putting them through a couple of gates and then bringing them at the very end to a pen like the one you see here and putting the sheep in the pen. These pastures, what are these used for? It's so beautiful out here. I mean, you have to address the setting. So this is uh, this is one of our hay fields here at Galewoods Farm. We have about 70 acres of hay field from which we cut the grass for our cattle and our sheep. Uh, so this is a 35 acre hay field and in addition to being used for this trial, we use it for state high school cross country meets um, where the teams run around this field um, for their competitions. Now I could talk about this all day and hear your play by play of this, but there is a big event so we should chat about what else is going to be happening for folks. Yes, so uh, Saturday and Sunday is our fall festival. It's one of the Three Rivers Park District's signature events. And in addition to being able to watch these amazing border collies herd sheep, we have uh, the opportunity to walk a llama. Uh, you can visit our uh, garden and uh, try roasted root vegetables and apples from our garden in our um, cooked in our new brick oven. Uh, you can engage in some fiber arts activities using wool from our sheep in the education building. You can meet the animals. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to do a bunch of cool nature activities, and you can just enjoy this, this beautiful setting. There'll be food trucks here, so you can purchase food, and you can hang out all day. There'll be a wagon transporting people up here to the field, so you can get a wagon ride. I gotta be honest, that sounds like a lot of fun and so many options, but I could watch this all day. Yeah, and that and it'll be going on all day, 9.30 to 3.30, both Saturday and Sunday, and the sheepdog trials will be happening the entire time. Uh, so you can come up and each dog runs for about five minutes and uh, they get scored uh, based on how well they did. And so if you come, you can learn about that. There'll be an announcer up here explaining what's going on. And, and um, they do it Saturday and Sunday. And at the end of Sunday, the, the best dog is crowned the winner of the sheepdog trial. I think whoever is running right now, I think he's got a shot at this. Tim, thank you. I appreciate it. And of course, we couldn't end this without giving a little shout out to Connolly there, seven years old. There he is. Did a great job today. Again, Gail Woods Farm is the place to be for Fall Fest happening Saturday and Sunday. Back to you.